Hello race fans and welcome back to the More Freedom Series. Today we have traveled to Charlotte for the Charlotte 80. This is going to be race number two in the More Freedom Series season four. And with last week's exciting finish to the end of the race, let's go through your top ten and points. Your points leader is last week's winner, the double zero of Mudbone. Second place will be the 211 of Hog. Third will be the 13 of King of the Aces. Fourth will be the three of Geek Girl Games. Fifth will be the 420 of Queen of Hearts. Sixth will be the 329 of Heck of a Duber. Seventh will be the 300 of Resemble. Eighth will be the 10 of Scooter. Ninth will be the 49 of Jetman. And rounding out your top 10 will be the 356 of Ice Cream Some Days. Checking in on your team standings, they look like this. Douche Motorsports leads the way. Ace of Zed second. Amish Buggy racing third. G3 Motorsports fourth. And the Drop Bear Racing Team in fifth. Chassis standings look like this. Chevy, Toyota, Dodge, and Ford. But very early in the season as of right now. So um, anything can happen. Anything can happen. So that's a look at everything. As we start the race here today, crowd is getting ready to file in here. They are getting these cars dialed in, as you can see on the screen. And I think it's about time, so let's go racing. Well, let's go through your starting top 10 today for this Charlotte 80. Starting on the pole will be the 33 of Harvey Jones. And second will be the 96 of Nico. Starting third will be the 25 of JTM, and on his outside, the 300 of Resemble. Starting fifth will be the 666 of Pistol Pete, and on his outside, the 660 of Garrett Miller. Starting seventh will be the 07 of Douche Baggins, and on his outside, the 11 of TC Roberts. Starting ninth will be the 777 of Seabass, and rounding out your top 10, last week's winner, the double zero of Mudbone. So that's your starting top 10 today for this Charlotte 80. It's shaping up to be a fantastic race. Lots of Amish buggy racing. Actually, four of their five drivers starting in the top 10 today, and their fifth driver, Super Snake, is actually starting 11th. So all the Amish buggy, Amish buggy racing drivers starting in the top 11 today. Your pool sitter, Harvey Jones, right here, had a fantastic race last week. Ended up finishing down in the order due to running out of fuel in that last race caution due to that last race caution uh, but he is surrounded right now by MBR and JTM and Nico but he's going to be leading us down to take this green flag here today at Charlotte the green flag is out and we are underway for this Charlotte 80 heading down into turn one right away that 33 of Harvey Jones out to the lead. Second place will go to that 96 of Nico. He is going to try to battle with the 33 of Harvey Jones today as Harvey uh, or Nico had a rough go last week, ended up finishing dead last on the field due to uh, hitting Kung Fu Beer under getting into the pits during a pit stop last week and basically tore up the front of his car, was in it, unable to finish. As the 25 of JTM making a run on him right here in lap number two. Nico running hard on the outside. JTM down to the inside. I'm not sure if JTM's going to get it. He will not be able to get it, but he slides up there in front of that 300 of Resemble. So Resemble is going to try to take, take advantage of JTM's attempted pass on the 96 of Nico, he's unable to do so right now as the triple six of uh, Pistol Pete has now worked his back bumper as Pete is running right there with his teammate, the 660 of Garrett Miller. So Resemble now working, trying to work down to the inside. Great run on the 25. You got a good draft through the turn and into three and four goes the 300 of Resemble and the 25 of JTM. So JTM on the outside, a little bit of draft help we will see drafting here at Charlotte. It's not, I mean, they're going over a certain mile per, after a certain mile per hour, you do get draft in these cars. So I think it's about 70 miles an hour. You're gonna see cars being able to draft with each other as you can see right here uh, on the outside. Just that little bit of help from the 660 and JTM's able to keep up there, but it's only a matter of time because that low line is the fastest line through the turns. 
So it's only a matter of time before that 300 of Resemble is able to make that pass on the 25 of JTM. And then unfortunately for JTM, he now has all these drivers stacked up behind him. Let's bring up your timing and scoring. As always, top 10 will be on your left. Favorite driver scrolling across the top as Resemble able to make that pass. And now we see the 96 of Nico right to the back bumper of the leader and pole sitter. The 33 of Harvey Jones, so Dodge, two Dodge, one and two right now, RP Racing and MBR. Again, RP Racing, just a two-car team this year with Harvey and Frederick Winklevom. So new livery on the 96. You're getting to see a pretty good look at it here at Charlotte. So he is running Marlboro, Big Red Liquors, for MBR this year. Checking back through this field, JTM able to get back into fourth position. So he drove his way on the outside of the 666, the advanced auto parts car for Pistol Pete and Amish Buggy Racing. Jumping back through this field, a douche motorsports right here. So we got the 07, the, the car owner and driver, the 07 of Douchebaggins for Douche Motorsports and his teammate, the 203 of Signs. As DB working down to the inside of the 11 of TC Roberts here on lap number seven, seven of hopefully 80 laps of green flag action. Checking in on the front real fast as they were nose to tail, they are still nose to tail. So the 96 of Nico is helping the 33 of Harvey Jones just draft around this track right now. So keep an eye on them. A beautiful look, or look at that beautiful orange and black Dodge Challenger pace car. As signs now, as DB gets around the 11 of TC Roberts and signs has set his sights on the 11 of TC Roberts there for Amish Buggy Racing in the Bird's Eye Toyota. Again, signs newcomer here to the field, uh, driving for Douche Motorsports in the 203 Colt Firearms Chevy. As he is now down to the inside of the 11 of TC Roberts. And last week, you know, like during the Daytona race, it's, it's very hard to highlight some of these drivers as there's just so much action going on on the track as we see the 777 of Seabass working down to the inside of the 11 of TC Roberts. And here comes his teammate, the 420 at Queen of Hearts. And another Amish buggy racing. The 660 of Garrett Miller has fallen back a little bit here. Currently running in the 11th position after starting six. So lost about five positions as he's about to make it three wide with the 420 at Queen of Hearts. And he is, he is making it three wide with the 420 at Queen of Hearts and the 11 at TC Roberts. The 40 of Veteran Chaos going to try to follow right along. Right behind Vet's going to be the 51 of AJM and another Amish Buggy Racing, the 34 of Super Snake. Still trying to keep an eye on that front battle as the 11 of TC Roberts currently falling back right now into the clutches of the 51 of AJM and that Zen Dodge for MBR. New livery on the 51 this year as well. There's points leader and last week's winner and second place finisher, the 211 and the double zero respectively on your screen. Not respectively, the double zero is the points leader, but the 211 right there as the 49 of Jetman working down to his inside. So Mudbow needs to put the hammer down, get around his car owner and teammate, the 34. Actually, that was he. I'm not sure who their car owner is. It could be the 777 of Seabass. But previous person in Amish Buggy Racing, the 34 of Super Snake right there. Jump back through this field some more. Last season's points champ, the three of Geek Girl Games, currently running in the 22nd position. Currently last, unfortunately, again, last is 71 of Kung Fu Beer. Uh, Beer has had a rough go in those Fords, and I think maybe it's about time that they think about switching off a of Ford. Ford has just lost most of its factory support here in the More Freedom Series, uh, down to two drivers this year, and uh, I don't know. They need to get need to get some more factory drivers underneath them. They did fairly good the first season. As you know, King of the Aces won season one. Actually, 
it was all Dodge season one, so season two, Ford did pretty well that season, but three and four now, so they need to, factory support needs to pick up for Ford as the 300 of Resemble has now ran down the 96 of Nico, and he is working down to his inside. So I don't know if Nico is just saving gas right now as we're 15 laps into the fuel run. That's the 25 of JTM, and they've just basically ran down the two leaders who were quite a ways ahead of them for a while. So the 96 of Nico falling back right now, almost into fourth position as the 25 of JTM working down to his inside, but Nico on the outside through three and four, able to stay in his position as the 07 of Douche Baggins now to the back bumper of the 25 of JTM. And here comes his teammate, the 203 of Signs. So two MBR cars, two Douche Motorsports cars as DB is trying to get to the inside of the 25 of JTM. We'll stick a fender underneath him into three and four. Off of three and four, pushing him high as your leader on the track will become the 96 of Nico. He will get those five bonus points. So it is kind of a fuel and tire savings mode right here for the 96 as I'm... You know, tires run, wear down through the through the run, through the fuel stint, whatever you want to call it. So between pit stops, burn off the fuel, wear down the tires. Looks like the 96 may be coming in. 96 is in. The 707 is in. The 666 will stay out as, as well as the 420. As the 420 gets a fantastic run on the 666 as she takes over the lead. I'm not sure if he had a blip in the fuel or what happened. She was quite a ways back and then all of a sudden right there to his back bumper. Looks like we're gonna see them come into the pits probably this go round. I don't know, we're gonna find out though. Yep, they are into the pits. That might be our, Duchess may be our last person into the pits as it looks like the 300 of Resemble may take over the lead. We're gonna watch and find out, but seeing all these drivers come out of the pits right now. There's the 799 of Mike Check. I'm showing him running in last position right now, but I'm sure timing and scoring will update as he is passing all of these cars. try to catch up to who might be the leader on the track. Well, I think the leader might be the 72 of Duchess. As 300 passes the start finish line. Again, we uh, she is going around a lot of the he is going around a lot of these cars, so we're going to see who is the leader and everything as pit stops are finished over with. I believe Resemble is going to be your leader right now. Waiting for all the updates to happen to timing and scoring, see where everybody shakes out. And... All right, there we go. Finally, timing and scoring updates. Again, your leader now is the 300 of Resemble. So great pit stop, great run right there at the end of that fuel stint for the 300 of Resemble. He pushed his car out to the lead. Great. Great pit stop by Drop Air Racing Team as Mike Check currently running in the 13th position and his teammates, the 300 of Resemble now out to the lead here, but that 33 of Harvey Jones is right there on his back bumper. Harvey has had a pretty good car all day. After those pit stops, the 07 of Douche Baggins, he has worked himself into the third position and a surprise, the 49 of Jetman now into the top five as he tries to work behind the 203 or work under the 203 of Signs down into one and two. And here comes his teammate, the 88 of NM. So NM started in the 29th position here today and the 49 of Jetman started in the 25th position. So with those pit stops, they've worked themselves into the top, top six, five and six respectively on the track right now as the 96 of Nico does lose a few spots there during the pit stop, but still in the top 10. 
Checking back through this field. There is the 799 of Mike Check. He had worked his way up to 11th. That's the 420 at Queen of Hearts. Now down to his inside. You get a great, you finally get great looks at these cars, like I said earlier. So the Thirsty Camel Bottle Shops looking fantastic on that car this year. 799, the 799 FM, the Outback. There on the side as well. As the 25 at JTM after the pit stops. Must have had a rough pit stop for the 25. He is falling back to 16th position. As the 88 of NM trying to work to the inside of his teammates, the 49 of Jetman, and his son, the 88 or the 96 of Nico, right there behind him. So Jetman holding off the two youngsters, the 96 of Nico and the 88 of NM. As we do have a pass for the lead, the 33 of Harvey Jones on the outside of the 300 of Resemble. So interesting way, Harvey is trying the long way around the track right now as he is drag race to the start finish line. Looks like the 300 will lead that lap. But Harvey is trying it on the outside here, which will be which will be tough because that I think I feel like the outside is going to use up your tires a little bit more, maybe than the inside. But you also have you can see how good Harvey's car is because he is on the outside and he's trying to drive around that 300 of Resemble, unable to get to him on the inside. Let's just try it on the outside. So now with this racing side by side, we have the 300 of Resemble and the 33 of Harvey Jones battling, but also the 203 of Signs and the 88 of NM down to the bottom as Signs is trying to take the lead, is gonna to try to take the lead away from the 300 of Resemble. As the 88 of NM now down to the inside of 33 of Harvey Jones and here comes the 96 of Nico. So a little bit of just maybe sandbagging by the 96 as he is now trying to work underneath the 07 of Douche Baggins. Here comes DB's t car, or not car owner, his teammate, the 211 of Hogg, again, last week's second place finisher in, a, in an amazing end to last week's race. Just crazy as we now have a battle for the lead between the rookie, the 203 of Signs, and the 300 of Resemble. So Douche Motorsports is looking amazing this year as the 203, again, rookie this season. He's now down to the inside of the 300 of Resemble. As the 33 of Harvey Jones takes advantage of the 88 of NM right there. And so, yeah, he takes advantage of NM trying to get around. I don't, I lost my train of thought. It's just, it's gone. So NM does pull down in front of the 33 of Harvey Jones. He's going to try to work down to the inside of that 300 of Resemble. Here comes the 07 of Douche Baggins as his teammates. The 203 of Signs here in his rookie season is out to the lead here at Charlotte on lap number 31 as we close in on halfway. The 88 of NM able to get around that 300 of Resemble and here comes the 07. He is now working down to the inside of the 300 as well as the 96 of Nico. He's gonna try to work to the inside of the 300 as he is right now to the inside of the 33 of Harvey Jones. Nico does stay down to the bottom of the track, down into the turn. Here comes the 211 of Hogg as well. So Hogg now underneath the 33, and here comes the 660 of Garrett Miller, the 49 and the 40. So Dodge is looking pretty stout up here at the front of the field. Actually, it's, it's mostly a mix of Chevy and Dodge. Those are, those are pretty much the two main car makes this year is Chevy and Dodge. I think there's only about seven drivers for Toyota, two for Ford and the rest are shipped mixed between Chevy and Dodge as we see the Chevy up here at the lead the 203 assigns he's currently up six tenths of a second over second place the 88 of NM NM is looking for he had a, he actually had his first two wins last season in the more freedom series I think it was only two wins but he is trying to work on possibly win number three here in the more freedom series and move himself up in those career standings also 
would be great to get a win here as he finished 20, he's 27th in points currently. I believe he had a late race fuel stop as well. Or ran out of gas, one or the other. He either ran out or he had a late race fuel stop. But we see that 420 at Queen of Hearts, and she, she's had an up and down seasons here in the More Freedom Series. She does really good and then does really bad a lot of times during the year. And so you always see her up at the front, and then all of a sudden, I don't know if she's just, un she's been unlucky a couple times and then got into some wrecks and had some bad pit stops. But a lot of times you'll see her up here at the front of the field. As we do have pit stops on the track, we're going to watch up here at the front of the field. As we watch the 203 of signs, we're going to see if he stops this lap or if he's going to hang it out there another one. Uh, also, we'll check on the 88 of NM and see what he does as we are five laps from halfway here at Charlotte. So it looks like it's going to be probably a three or four stop race as currently your fastest lap of the race is going to be by the 777 of Seabass. 27.964 miles per hour, or sorry, 27.964 seconds or 93, 193.147 miles per hour. Yes, I finally got it. As the leader was 07 of Douche Baggins on that last lap, so DB takes over the lead as the 88 of NM and the 203 of Signs both pull into the pits. The 96 of Nico is trying to get around him, and it uh, looks like Nico is coming to the pits. 07 to Douchebaggins also coming into the pits. So we're going to see the 420, a Queen of Hearts, stay out. And she's already led a lap, so she is going to take over the lead here. We're going to see the 666 stayed out, the 11, the 72. So good news for the 72. She is able to go several extra laps here, which could be good at the end of the race because we don't know because... It always comes down, I feel like, to fuel mileage here in these races a lot of times because we're right on that cusp of a certain number of pit stops. But we do see the 72 of Duchess is pulling in here as the 420 the, and the 666 and the 11 of TC Roberts. So the 88 of NM may take over the lead here. Trying to catch up to the drivers. I was, I'm trying to catch up to them. Okay, they're going right side tires and fuel. Left side tires for the 11. Left sides for the 666. 420 is down. Okay, so I think it was a, fuel ti a four tire stop for all the drivers here today. As it looks like the 88 of NM will take over the lead here as he gets around the 420 and the 666. 356 of Ice Cream Someday is currently running in the last position right now with the 777 of Seabass. Seabass falling down the field, falling down through the ranks as he started ninth. Currently, I think he's running about 31st or 32nd right now as just a rough go for that 777. I'm not sure if they've just had some rough time in the pits or what's happened, but he has definitely fallen off the pace here in the second half. Yeah, middle third. Probably the middle third. So your leader, we're going to wait for timing and scoring. There we go. Timing and scoring has updated. Your leader on the track is the 88 of NM. Second place will be the 203 of Signs. Third will be the 799 of Mike Check. So Mike Check in, uh, for Drop Bear, the Drop Bear Racing Team, they have got him in and out of the pits. An awesome job by that pit crew this season. Or at least in this race to get the 799 outs into third position. Fourth will be his teammate, the 300 of Resemble. Fifth will be the two or the 07 of Douchebag, and sixth will be the 211 of Hog. Seventh will be the 660 of Garrett Miller. Fourth will be, or sorry, eighth will be the 40 of Veteran Chaos. Ninth will be the 51 of AJM, and rounding out your top 10 right now will be the 49 of Jetman. So the 96 of Nico, kind of a loser on that pit stop, dropped down to 16th position from about, well, I think he was running in the top five. Uh, as we see the eight of Moon Bunny trying to work to the, another Douche Motorsports vehicle, the eight of Moon Bunny, trying to work down to the inside of the 49 of Jetman. And here comes Pole Sitter, 33 of Harvey Jones. He almost thought about getting to the inside of the 420 of Queen of Hearts as she brings it down in front of him. He had a great run on the 49, but the 420 just absolutely cut him off. 
And uh, yeah, so great run by the 420, great move by the 420. As we see rookie, the 10, a scooter now into the picture right there in front of the 96 of Nico. Checking back up here on the front as the 211 now working around the 799 of Mike Check. Not sure, maybe, may, maybe Mike took two tires only. Not sure. As it looks like the 203 of Signs has now caught up to, almost caught up to the back bumper of the 88 of NM as we have surpassed halfway here today in the Charlotte 80. Currently running one lap number 44 as we watch the battle for the lead between the 88 of NM and the 203 of Signs. So old Wiley veteran, the 88 of NM, and the rookie, the 203 of Signs. But he doesn't look like a rookie here as he's ran down to your leader, the 88 of NM. As they head down into one and two. And Signs gets a great run down the backstretch. He's worked, trying to work down to the inside of that 88 of NM and unable to get that fender underneath him. So when you get that fender underneath the driver in front of you, it kind of pushes them up the track because they can't come down on you and, you know, for it wanting to be a wreck. So you can see right there, Signs is trying to get that fender underneath the 88 of NM, push NM up the track, pull down to the inside. So now Signs does have a good run here on the 88 of NM down into the front stretch. He is probably most likely he is going to make that pass on the 88 of NM. Uh, so Signs back to the lead here. A couple of white cars at the front of the field, the 203 and the 88. Let's check in through the back of the pack here. Uh, Mudbone falling down to 29th right now. So we're going to see if he can make up anything after on well, the next pit stop so also shout out to the 329 of heck of Duper. his birthday was last saturday so happy belated birthday to that 329 of heck of a Duber. jump through this field as we see some action right here between the 29 of wishbone attack and the 20 of adam b5000 adam b5000 was running top 10 actually top five i think for a little bit and he's fallen way back so some of the front runners have fallen back here to the back of the pack as we there we see JTM right there with the 666 uh, currently running on the track in the 18th position. And again, there's the 96 of Nico. He's also fallen back here. So lots of the front runners have now fallen to the back of the pack, as it were. As we see the 51 of AJM underneath the 211 of Hog. This is a battle on the track for the eighth position. So AJM is going to take over the eighth position right here as the 40 of Veteran Chaos trying to work to the inside of the 799 of Mike Check. Easily takes that position away. Mike's going to try to get him on the outside, but easily going to take that position away, but that's going to open the door for the 51 of AJM down the backstretch as the eight of Moon Bunny. Mike is able to get around him on the outside, but the eight of Moon Bunny now closing in on the back bumper of the 51 of AJM jump up through this field as a sign still going to be your leader here with 30 laps to go at Charlotte the 88 of NM still in second place his car owner the 07 for the leader of signs he is currently running third as we watch the 660 of Garrett Miller working on the 300 of resemble right now and we do see the 51 of AJM down to the inside of that 799 of Mike Check. And it does make me wonder if Mike did take only two tires that last go round. As we see the 51 and the 8 of Moon Bunny trying to work underneath the 799 of Mike Check. And Moon Bunny's the same way as, I feel like Moon Bunny's the same way as the 420 at Queen of Hearts. Moon Bunny has a, a fantastic car a lot of times and then just gets caught up. Like last season, she just, I'm going to knock on some wood for her right here. Like some actual wood, not the fake wood on the desk uh she had a great car a lot of times last season for douche motorsports as you see three douche motorsports vehicles lined up nose to tail here and she would just get caught up in things that were out of her control and 
accidents would happen. So, checking in on your leader, that 203 assigns. He is just cruising away right now, not really gaining much time over the 88 of NM. It's still about 2.8 sec, 0.28 seconds, about 0.3 seconds between them. But he's just cruising around the track right now, wide open space in front of him. Closest car is coming off of four right now as he heads now down into turn three. So lots of space in front of him. You know, looks like he is coming into the pits. The 88 of NM is into the pits. We're going to watch to see what the 203 of signs does as we see the 07, the 660, the 300 pull off, the 8, the 211 all pulling off. This probably, well, I don't know, 26 laps to go. We might see one more quick pit stop there at the end as signs is in. Looks like right side tires going on. The 203 Colt Chevy for Douche Motorsports. Fuel going in, two tire stop. Nope, four tire stop for the 203 of signs. There's the 356 of Ice Cream Some Days is in. Slower stop for the 203. The 88 is down and away in front of him. I'm not sure if they took less tires, maybe? Question mark. He gets that car fired up, but he's got four fresh tires underneath him. So four fresh Goodyears on that 203 of signs. There's his car owner, the 07. And we're watching all these cars file out right now. We'll see who comes out in the first position. 72 of Duchess took over as maybe the 11 of TC Roberts takes over the lead here. Just checking out all these cars on pit road. 420 of the 72 is currently your leader. So Duchess takes over the lead again here with the 420 of Queen of Hearts in the second position. So Duchess pulling off the track she is in. For her, not, I don't think it's going to be their final pit stop. they got 23 laps to go. So I think you're going to see them stop with under 10 laps. As it looks like the 88 of NM it will take over. We're going to watch this pit stop by the 72 of Duchess. She's got right side tires going on. That Sugarland Shine Chevy for Douche Motorsports. Left side tires going on that car. And Fuel is in, and she is down and away, heading down pit road. We'll see where she comes out of these pits as the 420 is out behind her right now. There's the 11 of TC Roberts. Last three cars to pit here. Here comes 203 of Signs and her teammate. Both of those are her teammates. So it looks like the 88 of NM does take over the lead here. In the More Freedom Series, this Charlotte 80. Well, wait, we'll just make sure with timing and scoring. Looks like 420 at Queen Hearts will have led that last lap as Duchess stopped before the start-finish line for her pit as a 07 of Douchebag and now down to the inside of his teammate, the 203 assigns. So DB is trying to get to the second position here with about 22 laps to go at Charlotte as, again, DB, I'm, you know, rough race last week for this 07. Had a good car, uh, ended up blowing up. The motor just let go on him. He didn't blow it up. The motor just let go of him right there at the end of the race. Ended up finishing way down in the standings. Currently running 31st in points. So he finished, I, yeah, I believe he th finished 31st on the day. So he is up to the second position, but Sainz was like, oh, no, no, no. Uh, I'm working now down to the inside here as he is trying to get around. A, um, I don't know. Are they going on in the headsets right now saying, hey, you know, just l let, the, let the car owner go. Let him be up here. Or are they giving team orders? We don't know. We, we're not listening to communication between the teams. As you see, three douche motorsports cars right here. Uh, the 07, the 203, and the 8. So, Douche Motorsports, very good last year with the 329 of Heck of a Duber. And so far this season, they're actually looking a lot better. You know, six cars in their stable instead of they added two drivers over the, over the winter. As your leader by five seconds is the 88 of NM as of right now. 
Checking in, Seabass still has a fastest lap of 193.147. Last lap for your leader would have been 189.494. So uh, three or four miles per hour off, and which equals out to about six tenths of a second. So uh, 27.9 to uh, 28.5, so about six tenths of a second equals out to about three or four miles an hour on the track. But that, I don't know when that lap was ran by Seabass as he's, you know, could have been lap one. Actually, probably lap two or three, you know, top probably first ten laps, I would guess. But DB now solidly into second position as the eight of Moon Bunny trying to work down to the inside of the 203 of Signs. Uh, as this is 660 of Garrett Miller closing in right here. Let's check back through this field as we see the 49 of Jetman now working to the inside of the 211. I'm like half the top 10 is Douche Motorsports right now. We've got the 07, the 203, the 8, the 211, and the 72 all in the top 11 right now. So the only one not in the top, top 11 is the 329 who's running down in 27th right now. Douche Motorsports looking extremely strong this season. To jump back through this field. You see that the 96 has fallen off a little bit here towards the end of this race. That's the 25 of JTM trying to battle back from starting in the fourth position or third position. And he's battling right now with his teammate, the 96 of Nico, currently running at the 20th. So NM still up 4.9 seconds over second place of the 07 of Douche Baggins. Kind of working, just easing through the laps right now. We're going to see some pit stops happening probably in the next five laps. And that will finish us off for the race. And, you know, as always, we're going to keep our fingers crossed about how the drivers enter and exit the pits. We're going to see if NM can get a good pit stop a, a good pit stop i believe he's led the most laps as of right now with 17 as we see signs is now falling back to the sixth position the 40 of veteran chaos is working pretty good right now he started in the 13th position currently fifth on the track and looking for more for the K kagers racing i want to say kfb racing but it's now again same team, new name, just trying something different. Up to Kager, now Kager Racing from Kager, KFB Racing. Uh, Kager Baseball, if you don't watch, make sure you watch some Kager Baseball. That'll be on Kung Fu Beer Twitch channel. Check it back through the field. We're seeing what's going on. Mostly single file as we see the... There is the 71 of Kung Fu Beer. He worked his way up from the last position. He's currently in 16th, so he's made up about half the field right now through the several of his pit stops. He's running right behind the 33 of Harvey Jones and that Limerita Ford for Kager Racing. Car owner of Kager Racing right there, the 71 of Kung Fu Beer. He is now down to the inside of the 33 of Harvey Jones. As we saw, Harvey's car very strong early in the going and has just fallen off right here at the end of the race as I think we're probably getting close to pit stops. We'll jump back up here to the front. Still up 4.8 seconds is that 88 of NM as we see a battle on the track right here between the 07, the 8, the 660, who's now into the fourth position. So maybe this would be a good change of pace for the 660 of Garrett Miller. He's always, he had, a, he's had, had great run again like he's like the eight of moon bunny he's had great runs and then just things have happened through the race and maybe that switch to dodged and over to amish buggy racing not having to worry about being a car owner and all that stuff maybe that will help him out and uh he could do better but we still see the 88 of nm still i mean they're they're closing in they're about 4.7 so it's just a tenth here a tenth there a couple tenths here a couple tenths there but right here at the end of this fuel run, as I think we're going to see that 88 of NM, he is going to pull off 
He's into the pits. This is going to be the final stop for your leader. The 88 of NM, as we see the 40 of Veteran Chaos, will stay out on the track. He'll take over the lead. As we see the 88 of NM pulling into a stall, we're going to see what they put on. The right side tire is going on to the 88 of NM. Fuel going into that Mopar Dodge for MBR, and he is down and away. Final stop for the 88 of NM. As he works down pit road, we see the 33 of Harvey Jones going in to make his final stop. We're going to see where that puts the 88 out on the track. See if he can take over, take back the lead as there goes your leader, the 40 of Veteran Chaos. So Vet, I don't know, maybe he's trying to make it all the way. Wouldn't that be something if Vet does a fuel run and makes it to the end of this race as it looks like the 49 of Jetman will take over second position. I think he's letting off the gas. It looks like he's coming into the pits. 49 is coming into the pits. 72 of Duchess will take over the lead. So we're going to follow this 72 of Duchess as she works around this track. And with six laps to go, we're going to see if she... I'm, I'm assuming she's coming in, but she's had some great fuel mileage all day in that Sugarland Shine Chevy for Douche Motorsports, as well as the 420 has also had some great fuel mileage today. Looks like she might be pulling off here. See her slowing down. She will pull off. She is into the pits. The 88 of NM, I believe, is going to take over the lead. And it's, I saw the 96 of Nico. Looks like he has fallen way back in the field again. He might be back to... It's showing him in 15th, but he was running there with the 777 of Seabass, so he may be way back in the field now. So it looks like the 88 of NM, we're just going to we're gonna watch because actually the 420 is your leader as of right now, but there we see the 88 goes around with about four laps to go. I believe this car right here, the 88 of NM, will be your leader. Having led 22 laps here today in the More Freedom Series, Charlotte 80. We're just following him along right now as we work through the turn through one and two, which could be the final handful of laps for this 88. Um, Waiting for timing and scoring to do its updating. And uh, watching this, it will show the 88 of NM as your leader on the track. Second place looks like it's going to be the 8 of Moon Bunny. And in third, it's going to be the 799 of Mike Check. So another great stop by the Drop Bear Racing Team to put the 799 of Mike Check out into the third position. Fourth is going to be the 07 of Douche Baggins. Fifth. 40 of Veteran Chaos, 6th will be the 49 of Jetman, 7th will be the 660 of Garrett Miller, 8th will be the 51 of AJM, 9th will be currently the 203 of Signs, and rounding out your top 10 is going to be the 72 of Duchess, but here comes the 10 of Scooter. He is trying to work to catch up as we check in on your front runner. The 88 of NM has a 5.5 second lead right now over second place. The 8 of Moon Bunny. So I think our only battle on the track might be for the 10th position between Scooter and Signs as well. And you see the 71 of Kung Fu Beer coming in. And I believe that is the white flag. So one more lap around here at the Charlotte Motor Speedway for the 88 of NM. He is up by five and a half seconds over second place, the eight of Moon Bunny. No trouble. He could almost coast to the win right now as he heads through three and four. Coming off of four, down to the stripe. Your winner today here at Charlotte is going to be the 88 of NM. Watch these other cars finishing. Here comes the eight of Moon Bunny. So, 
tough break today for that 96 of Nico. He does end up finishing in the 31st position, but your winner today. Let's go through your top 10. Let's go through your top 10. Your winner today is the 88 of NM. Second place will be the 8 of Moon Bunny. Third will be the 07 of Douche Baggins. Fourth will be the 799 of Mike Check. Fifth will be the 49 of Jetman. Sixth will be the 40 of Veteran Chaos. Seventh will be the 660 of Garrett Miller. Eighth will be the 51 of AJM. Ninth will be the 72 of Duchess. And rounding out your top 10 will be the 203 of Signs. So a big day for Douche Motorsports. Several drivers in the top 10. One, two, three, and four drivers in the top 10 for Douche Motorsports, as well as three drivers in the top 10 for MBR. So they're going to move up in the team score. But, hey, fantastic race here today at Charlotte. Next week we go to the paperclip of Martinsville for the Martinsville 100. So 100 laps next week at Martinsville should be an exciting race. We'll see how these drivers do on the first short track of the season. Let's take a look at your current points, see where everybody is shaken up because it looks like the double zero of Mudbone actually finishes back in the 30th position here today. So a rough go for last week's winner. We'll see that where that does to him in the points as well as Everything else, you're seeing that here on your screen. Let's take a look at your team and chassis standings. Again, another big day for Douche Motorsports. Uh, four drivers in the top ten. We're going to see what that, see how all the point, the team and chassis standings look right now. So that's going to do it today for the More Freedom Series here at Charlotte. Again, congratulations to the 88 of NM. He is your winner. Led the most laps at 27 laps here today. Um, so fantastic job by him and MBR in the pits after starting in the 29th position. He works his all, all the way up to the first. And I just want to point out the fact that the 8 of Moon Bunny also started dead last today. Ends up finishing second. So fantastic job by eight, the 88 of NM, your winner. Fantastic job by the 8 of Moon Bunny, working all the way up to the second position after starting in last. So congratulations to the 88 of NM. He is your winner. And until next week at Martinsville, take care. <laughs>